I'll keep the general symbol of the office, and maybe he'll find it. Oh, yeah. But I guess he's got two kids now. <laughs> yes. Did you get your master's degree yet? Three years ago. <laughs> no, it's real that long, have you? Yeah. I got. Well, I already tapped out on the salary schedule. <laughs> oh, gee. So I, I have no other incentive to keep on the You You got to you know, have to have experience. You're only yeah. down as far as you can go with your hours. That's right. Yeah. I'm all. Yeah. No guy yet or anything like that? Huh? No marriage or anything like that? Brian. Brian. Eric. Is it off? bridge will only take you halfway there, to those mysterious lands you long to see, through gypsy camps and swirling Arab fairs, and moonlit woods where unicorns run free. So come and walk a while with me and share the twisting trails and wondrous worlds I've known. But this bridge will only take you halfway there, the last few steps you'll have to take alone. Tonight we step off the bridge. Some of us venture into the workforce and others to institutions of higher learning. Whatever the destination, we embark on our next stage of the journey through life with a greater sense of independence and self-accomplishment. It is this we gather one last time to celebrate.
Annette Rue, President of the Batavia Board of Education. I hereby certify that all 203 students before you this evening have met the requirements of the Illinois State Board of Education and the Batavia Board of Education for graduation from high school and should duly receive their diploma as a symbol of this achievement. Dr. Cave. Thank you, Mr. Booth. This is an evening for memories, as well as an opportunity for us to share a vision for the future. The honor of awarding you your diplomas on behalf of the Board of Education. However, as I stand before you, feeling as though I should leave you with some great profound thought. But what I feel is very humble. You young people had more knowledge in your heads in the eighth grade than I did upon graduation from high school. I am so very proud of all of you, and the Board of Education feels the same. I'm thankful to your parents and to you for the privilege of providing you the opportunity to learn and achieve. I do not believe that graduation is either an end or a beginning. I see it as a continuation. Learning does not stop here. It continues for the rest of your life. Stone. The future is bright and unknown. You must be willing to continue to learn and to have a vision in order to achieve. Again, it's with pleasure that I present to you the class of 1992. We begin with the class of 92 valedictorian, Kara Lynn Pribble. April Dawn Acosta. Scott James Adams. Azara Fatima Ahmed. Stephen J. Almi. Laura Ann Allen. Jerome Allen Bailey. Martha Ann Anderson. Matthew Daniel Bache. Jason A. Clark. That's Joy Kastner. Ann Melissa Clef. Sherry Lee Cleason. It was Matt Cooper. Matthew John Delacandro. Susan Joe Cochran. Rule. This is Corey Moulton. Tanya Verda Pascati. Eric Thomas Pingle. Sharon K. Patterson. Eric Anatoly Romero Price. Schuster. Hobie O. Seacrest.
Jennifer Kathleen Scott. Brandon A. Sellier. <laughs> Teresa Ellen Schaefer. <laughs> Peter Timothy Sipes. James William Smeagol. How are you doing that? So. <laughs> Last time that was good time, good fun. Oksana Antonovna Shabtapolopia. Justin David Snyder. <laughs> Carlo Toll. That was Matt Szymanski. Carla Eileen Updike. That was Marco Valentino. Luis Deliris. Michelle Vogt. Weber. Jeffrey Michael Willett. accomplished, but sad at what we are leaving behind. It has been a long journey. All of us have faced changes and self-doubt. We have also cemented friendships, learned about ourselves, about love, and about hope. Soon, all that will remain of this adventure will be images and friendship. Thank you for bringing us this far and for giving us this time to be together. Now we say goodbye to each other and to a part of ourselves. Today is more than we have dared to imagine, and tomorrow is like a dream. Please remain with us on the adventures which are ahead. Bless us, Lord, for this end and tomorrow's new beginning. Amen.